Bella, stop eating my stacks of $100 bills. His dog is eating stacks of $100 bills. That's why he runs the show. And I'm just his, uh, <laughs> I'm just his house Carl. That's what I do. Welcome to Talk About Scary, the show where we do just that. Talk about scary places. I'm Adam. I'm Clay. And today we're not actually talking about scary places. We're talking about our favorite flavor style of donut. What do you like, Adam? Boston cream. I caught him off guard. He had <laughs> no idea this was coming. I didn't know. I didn't know at all. Boston cream is actually really good. I just like straight up glazed, especially from Krispy Kreme of the Mystery. You know, I'm a, I'm a big uh, West Coast uh, donut guy. I uh, like Krispy Kreme, but mm -hmm. I also, I'm big into Rainbow Donuts. Rainbow Donuts is sick. Or Bosa Donuts. They're Bosa is company. really good. They're, I don't know. I think they're the same company because they make their muffins. Anybody who doesn't know that's not from here, their donuts, if we're going to talk about it for a second. Yeah, sure. Um, Everything you can get there, the burritos, because they make everything. They make burritos, breakfast sandwiches, whatever you want. Um, they're always owned by uh, by Asian people. I don't know what nationality, but I know they're Asian. Um, because they're always, there's a bunch of different nationalities that will work there at the same time, but they all are, are always predominantly Asian. I've never seen a Hispanic person working there, or a Caucasian, or a uh, African American, or or an African, anybody, just just Asian people. Again, he's not wrong. Yeah, uh, not for people from India, not people from Russia. Just so, just be to be clear. Um, Again, he's so not wrong. Not wrong. The recipes are a little bit different. If you get a breakfast burrito, it looks like a breakfast burrito. It, it's similar to one, but it tastes a little different. It's a, they put different stuff in there. The tomatillo sauce, a little different. So they have muffins. The blueberry muffin is really good. But if you're looking for a blueberry muffin with sugar on the top and blueberries throughout and a muffin consistency, get out of town because their muffin is crispy on top and it has more of a cornbread feel to it. Um, I didn't realize he was so passionate about this. I was just pastries? trying to make a do not. I just went an two opening minutes, joke. <laughs> two minutes about pastries, but their Boston creams are the bomb. Also, they, I don't know if a donut tree is the right word. I used that earlier, like a bakery, a donut tree. Donut, when you said donut tree, I would like a, 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 a like a plastic tree with donuts. Well, I realize, like off. as I'm saying it now, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But you don't think about trees when you say bakery. I mean, I guess you don't say tree, but they they both end in like the R Y. Like I was Wait. trying to get to that ending, and now I sound dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you never sound dumb. It's fine. Bakery, donut tree, donut tree. Like, you know, I like because donut one. ends in a T. We can say donut tree. I don't, I don't see why I, yeah. we can't say talk about scary donut tree. So now you want to go to your local donut tree and that's where they talk about talk scary, about scary donut. discount, and it's going to be a Boston crime with a hole in the middle, and it's going to be crispy with blueberries throughout. It's delicious. It's just a mix. It's a mix of, of all the donuts and muffins. Mix of garbage <laughs> like our uh, like our podcast. Enjoy. Anyway, so we're not actually talking about donut trees today. I want a donut now. We're talking about. <laughs> Lincoln Park. Yeah, boy! Bring that rock. I love that group. And in the end, doesn't even matter. <laughs> <So> <laughs> that was good. Thank you. That was the one joke I had prepared. The rest are all going to be like just on the spot. Um, and if there are no jokes from here to the end because I couldn't think of any, I'm sorry. Um, that was good, though. The one's good. But it's not actually Lincoln Park, the band former band are they even still like let's call them a band i'm sorry we still enjoy their music when we i do. feel emo we do yeah. i don't even have to feel emo i just like you know throw on some lincoln park it makes me think of like transformers and the good old days because they did some of the songs for transformers no chiz yeah i didn't know um, that i hmm. can't think of the song right now but i'm sure someone out there can go to our instagram page to talk about in, scary yeah. and make sure you <laughs> message us and tell us what that damn song was on the transformers thing because we're never going to look it up we hardly do that. You know the one, too. Like, everyone can hear it. They they all know. You, you know. You know. I'm talking to you, Travis. I know it's you that's listening. Travis. Yeah, Tyler. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, We're talking about Lincoln Park Golf Course. Oh. Yes, that's the actual name. It's not spelled the same 
way Lincoln Park spells Lincoln, it's spelled the appropriate Abraham way. Like my son, Link Lincoln. Long. Yeah. Um, it's located in San Francisco, California. San Fran cheesy. Home of the Golden State Warriors. Mmm. Had to tie something he loves again. Of course. Every episode about this show either has Hawaii or the Warriors, donuts, all of the above. I'm getting a donut on the way home. <laughs> I'm not at supposed the, to. At the local donut tree, there's a Dunkin' Donut, donut Tree. <laughs> Pretty close. Nice. So, okay, so I was looking up places that I wanted to cover, and I, I like sticking to haunted places, um, maybe not mysteries like Adam is uh, tending to start to cover. And I came across this place, and there's not a whole lot, but I thought it could spark a conversation because it's it's just interesting. I mean, how many when you when you think of haunted places, how often do you think of golf courses? You're like, let me get my uh, three iron out, and uh, oh my gosh, is that a ghost? You, you know, you just yeah. it's not. That's like, like a haunted. It's a ghost. Take, alley it's or... a ghost in the way. Take the drop. Take the drop. <laughs> Well, that's actually what happens on this golf course. No joke. Um, reading about it. And oftentimes the back nine holes of this golf course leave golfers with hits that they don't believe they actually made. They will oftentimes blame spirits because they'll go to hit it and the ball will land completely not where they were aiming or it won't go as far as it should have. Uh, they'll go out for like a long drive and it will only go like 100 yards, whatever. And they'll actually blame spirits. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Make a comment. No, laugh. I have, snort. <laughs> you know, I, I have nothing to say that I can't, I can't even get behind this right now. I mean, it sounds, <laughs> it sounds like a joke, right? Like, it does. Of course. I'm not a good golfer. Why not blame the dead? I blame ghosts every time I fart. Every time I fart. They could have done it. They just like... Do you hear that? There's a ghost. Like, push into your, you know, abdomen and you just yeah. fart. That's it. You just they hit your left side. And yeah. Stuff and, yeah. And but you don't, you don't like, feel the punch. You just blame them for the fart. But anyway, yeah. the reason that people blame ghosts is, is more than just, I'm bad at golf. I need something to blame. There's a ghost. The reason is because <laughs> this golf course follows the uh, age-old no-no of being built on top of a cemetery. You only move the headstones. <laughs> Damn it! You only move the headstones. The 18th hole, specifically, which, just speaking of the 18th, you, you got to look up this golf course. The views are incredible. Um, it's right on the bay, so it's very foggy a lot of the time, but when you get a great view of the 18th, goes right up to the water nice. and you get a great view of the golden gate bridge mm. also known as the golden state warriors logo how many people have died on the golden gate bridge we should cover that in an episode we will that's, that's... not this one though <laughs> we're not prepared yeah for that i'm i'm never prepared but <laughs> by the way i'm not prepared for this one clay said hey we're doing all of our research and we always send each other our research but today i did not i'm gonna confess i did not read about it at all. I'm just sitting here making uh, comments with no... I'm listening to it as you're listening to it at home. Well, this is one of those places, though, again, that it's not very well known. No one's like... This isn't on their, like, bucket list of things that they want to visit before they die. Like, maybe the, the suicide forest in Japan or, or some very well-known place that we've already talked about. Um, like the Monte Vista, you should totally check that out and make sure if you haven't already been annoyed by us advertising it, we have a new film out, A Haunting at the Monte Vista. It's streaming right now on Vimeo. You can rent it or buy it and it will be available on other platforms soon. Check out the Monte Vista. Check, 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 check us out. Anyway, back to Lincoln Park. Raw Rod! Yeah. yeah! In the end! I tried so hard. All right, anyway. Yeah. Um, the 18th hole, though, the one that overlooks the Golden Gate Bridge, very great view. That's where the cemetery was. They actually, uh, were, when they were designing the course and they built it, they were like, you know what? Just dig all that stuff up. 
<laughs> just lay the, the, the fairway down right over them Real dead, dead folks. people. <laughs> yeah. Boom. So what's interesting is um, a lot of times some of the people that work on the golf course or even just uh, golfers, because it's not, this isn't like one of those prestigious, like only pompous millionaires can like golf on. So not like the golf courses that you usually golf on. Yeah, no, this is a golf course. Like it's, it's open to the public. You go, you just, you just pay a small fee to, to golf on it. So people will bring like dogs, the workers, you know, they'll, they'll have dogs nearby. Or I think there's even like a, a park, not the Lincoln Park Park, but a park that's next to Lincoln Park. It's a Lincoln Park Park. <laughs> um, it's very common, especially when it's very rainy, which it does rain a lot coming off the ocean. Um, that dog walkers <laughs> will sometimes be handed a bone. Liars. From their <laughs> dogs. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong with the ghost on the golf course, if you are do doing the 99.999% of the, that, that rule there when you're trying to make a putt and you don't hit it hard enough and it gets really close to the hole but it doesn't go in, um, I, I bet the ghosts are like, you suck. They probably are. You can probably hear it. Just whispering. It's in the wind. You go, <laughs> you'll hear the wind and one person. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? You hear what? The wind goes, boom. <laughs> you are horrible. And just... I away. mean, it kind of sounds like a fun place to be dead at if if that's how it works and you're like stuck somewhere or you have to do something in the afterlife. I would love to like mess with golfers. Oh, yeah. Because okay. they would just they're they're so like, I don't want to say arrogant, but um, they're very quick to blame their hair. Yeah. Anything on their, their bad putts. And I want to tell the viewers at home that this is something that you actually are very aware of. Clay has a whole bunch of golf clubs in his garage. I do. There, uh, he came from a life of privilege. Um, he is a uh, he uh, he he's very fancy. I do not come from that life. A life of privilege where he golfed with the elites. Bella, stop eating my stacks of one hundred dollar bills. His dog is eating stacks of one hundred dollar bills. That's why he runs the show, and I'm just his uh, <laughs> I'm just his house Carl. That's what I do. I'm a, I'm a house Carl. I'm like Lydia. I'm not gonna say who Lydia is, but people who know what game I'm talking about. A lot of laugh. I don't. I still laughed just to be nice. Yeah, but I, it wasn't for you. Anyway, it's an Easter egg. Go ahead. I don't have stacks of one hundred dollar bills. They're yeah. You've never seen a thousand dollar bill before, but they're <laughs> dope. Bella is here with us though, my dog. So she's just licking she's herself just, though. She just she's not. <laughs> I saw her lick her nose just now. Well, sometimes I lick my nose. I can't do it. <laughs> Bella. Okay. Anyway, um. So you don't you don't buy the whole dog thing? I mean, if you think about it, okay. So let's just say this this cemetery was actually kind of like repurposed into a golf course, and they they, they would have to dig up a little bit to like level out or however they wanted to manipulate the the land, and then you know reseed it with the grass seed <laughs> sod. Yeah. sod sod sod. That's what it's called. Um, I mean, it kind of makes sense that some of the bodies might not be buried as deep. And it's an older golf course. Um, and bodies shift in the ground. What you're going to realize is when you bury your loved ones in the ground, especially in a place that has a, a moving fault line, um, those people after a course of 50 years aren't in the same spot anymore. They, they, they're under the ground moving around. It's fluid down there. Yeah. And um, the western end, which is where I'm talking about, was established in 1909. So I don't know how many years it took them to build the golf course but it's older, so not all of these bodies might be, you know, they might not have been buried in, like, coffins or caskets. Yeah, like the wooden ones, maybe. Yeah, which could have, like, decomposed or, you know, even been torn up a little bit when they, like, redid the golf course. But, um, I don't know. If I was walking my dog and I let it go, you know, Bella go play for a bit and she just came back with, like, a bone and I was where this story comes from, I would kind of be concerned. Like, where would that come from? Now, are we talking about, uh, what kind of bones are we talking about? Are we talking about actual bones, or are we talking about dog bones? Well, if it's, like, dead dog? No, like, dog bones, like the ones you get at the store. Well, if that's the case, why would you report it? Like, if you're giving your dog bones, you, you what, are you going out to Lincoln Park? In the end, it doesn't even matter. Going out to Lincoln Park, <laughs> giving them a toy dog bone, or, you know, like a like a rawhide, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. And then you're like, oh my gosh, my dog dug this up. <laughs> like, like, I don't. Yeah, okay. okay. I, I think it's a little bit different if you if you see your dog digging or you let it go play and then it comes back with a bone. 
But the interesting thing is, over the 18th hole, where this cemetery was located, no one knows exactly how many were left because it wasn't exactly tracked. Like I said, this, this kind of conversion from cemetery to golf course happened around 1909. At one point, though, over a thousand bodies were buried. A lot of bodies. It's a lot of a lot of bodies. Hmm. I, I mean, you'd, ha you'd have to guess a majority of them are left behind. Yeah. So I don't know. I think that the big takeaway I want from this is why why would we build a golf course over a cemetery? It's funny you should say that. There's another. Uh... Uh, places in the world where the people have built golf courses where they shouldn't have built that's them. right the blink 182 park i that's forgot right. about it yeah not <laughs> not haunted but uh when i went to school at asu again not um not u of a asu wildcat um i had a professor named curtis marion and he was responsible for finding uh, uh being one of the contributing scientists that found where our our entire uh, progenitor population came from um and that was in cape floor in South Africa, and guess what they were building over that site? A golf course, they had to halt the construction of the golf course to do a dig and they found all the remnants of our progenitor species, uh, uh, us, mm -hmm. um, and that's why we all have the same DNA today. We came from there at the last glaciation. They're just building a golf course over it. DNA. 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 Um, so yeah, so it happens Okay, a lot. so maybe it's more <laughs> common than... Yeah, those those rich think. golfy bastards are, uh, they do, they do evil stuff. Yeah, I mean, if I was buried somewhere... Haven't you ever seen Caddyshack? They're all evil. Yeah. You probably have not seen Caddyshack. I have. I have seen Caddyshack. <laughs> We're all getting laid! I'm sorry. <laughs> Go watch Caddyshack. There's other golf movies I got, that I, I would recommend more than Caddyshack. I got dizzy doing that just now because I thought it was so funny. So I've, never, <laughs> I've never said that out loud before. I've never done the Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> My whole life. He is. He's getting clammy and sweaty. It's funny. It's really funny. It's His face is... Is uh, swelling up like to the size of a <laughs> bowling ball. <laughs> I mean, you got to do anybody seen any ghosts? I've just never got to do. I one. did. Yep, yeah, I did. That's a good quote, though. Um, anyway, a little bit of facts about <laughs> the Lincoln Park Golf Course to just kind of leave you with is it is a six thousand six hundred yard from tee to final flag. Uh, it's a seventy one par, and um, there's some really interesting holes on there. There's a par five, the number one hole, um, that is apparently a very well-known hole. So you, you see, Adam, you seem like someone who's not really into golf. I, I enjoy watching. Um, I actually like golf here. I want to do this real quick. Yeah, go ahead. So uh, Clay Moffat is teeing off from the, from from uh, the fifth hole here, the fifth tee box. It's a par five. Looks like he's using his driver. And. Uh, it, here he goes. And that's a lovely hit. That, look, that one's going to find the, the short stuff. Absolutely. Okay. So that, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I always wanted to do that too. I'm just going to drag this out. I want to say something. Go ahead. Um, I don't know how much more you have to say. That's pretty much it. Definitely check out Lincoln Park. Okay. But I got uh, to say something first. And then the yeah, uh, golf course. This is, this is fascinating. Uh, before we go further, we're going to talk about scary discount. Um, yeah. I want to say that... <laughs> It's really close to Alcatraz. It is. And Native Americans uh, inhabited all that area. And they would send the super bad Native Americans, uh, they would imprison them on that island. The island, as we've said in other episodes, please go check out, talk about Scary Our Podcast, look up Alcatraz Island, very close, in proximity. I'm using my hands and, and moving them in a in a closed motion toward each other to show how close these two uh, uh, land masses are to each other. Um, and if you, uh, if you see that, you'll see that there's a lot of uh, haunted history in that area, all of San Francisco, but in that area uh, uh, too. And uh, so I imagine there's, a, there's um, some Native American burial grounds over there as well. And also the Golden um, Gate Bridge, which we just mentioned, uh, a lot of people have jumped to their death over as well. So there's a lot of, um, been a lot of death and tragedy in that area. There's also some war tragedy that happened there that you listen to the Alcatraz episode. I'm not going to get into it. You don't deserve that. Go listen to it because I, I, we do love you, but go listen to that episode. But I wanted to put that in there because this is a nice tie in and I wanted to tie that in. And if none of that scares you, you can make a tea time right on the Lincoln Park golf course website. 
to golf. And uh, hopefully you don't make too deep of divots. What's and, the address? Uh, the a Don't do this to me right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the address <clears throat> is uh, four... I was waiting. I, I was leaning over, like just, just waiting for the rest of it. You got me good. It's not four. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got me good again. It's a three hundred thirty fourth Avenue, San Francisco, California nine four one two one. And if you want longitude and latitude, I can give it to you. But I'm not. I'm not seeing a phone number. I I left their actual website. There was. That's why there was a uh, delay. Yeah. In the the four. That was that was funny though. That was actually funny. And when you uh, when you go, uh, get twenty percent off rack rates by by asking for the talk about scary discount. Uh, now available to all of our listeners. Tell them talk about scary sent you and ask for twenty percent off your rack rate. What's that? <laughs> rack rates the standard rates. You're you're the guy of privilege. You don't Clay. He does not care. He's he says. He doesn't even buy something if there's not a comma on the price tag. But then again, <laughs> okay. who looks at the price tag is what he always says. And then he just signs away. Signs his name away. I don't know who pays for this stuff. This iPad Pro that I'm reading from did Jeez. not have a comma. It was 999 Jeez, gosh. I just, sitting, we're in Clay's house instead of my house this time. And just mansion. sitting around Tell here. It's a mansion. It is. It's a mini mansion. And, um... <laughs> I'm just surrounded by all this grandeur and... Hocus Pocus posters, Pocket Man and Cargo Boy posters. That Pocket Man and Cargo Boy poster, that's... The Empire Strikes Back poster. That Pocket Man and Cargo Boy 2 poster you have up. I don't, I don't. There's a Michael Jordan Magic Johnson that's a, that's picture. A, that's, that's a dope one. Yeah, though. it's nice. But, uh, yeah. But if you're going to plug something, you probably should yeah. plug uh, Pocket Man and Cargo Boy 2. That would be nice. Um, okay, well, what else do you have to say for yourself? <clears throat> creep it real creep it real y'all this was a nice we're gonna call them tiny talkabouts this is a tiny, tiny talk, talk about that's a kind of a tiny talk about scary tiny talk about